it's Trey from Multitasker Mama. Uh, I am back with another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child 2021. Um, I'm hoping I can get through most of these ones that I have ready to to unbox for you today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do some sewing. I'd actually did some sewing last night and the other day I got um, quite a bit done. I'm happy with my progress since time is tick tick ticking away. Um, I'm going to try to unbox this on my bed and as you can see we have company as always or maybe we won't. Maybe they'll flee off the bed by the time this is almost done. Um, so I don't have a lot of space right now. And speaking of space, I don't have hardly any space anyways. Uh, we live in a small apartment. It's technically a two bedroom apartment, but we've made it into three. Um, the housing situation in this part uh, of Nova Scotia is really terrible. Um, and the pricing for rent is horrible. We've been really blessed to, to have this place that's hasn't been bumped up in rent terribly bad. And that's pretty much the reason why we're still here. Um, so yeah, my I leave that in God's hands to um, hopefully at some point he will provide us with an actual place to call home and space 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 I really really would like my own craft room I do not have a room for you know storage shoeboxing sewing anything like that so it's scattered throughout the <laughs> throughout the apartment it's in my room it's in the kitchen the kitchen is a disaster this is why I don't unbox on my kitchen table like a lot of you do because my kitchen table has literally no space on it it's it's always been our kind of our drop-off spot and it just got worse as I started sewing and doing stuff and you know everything else so this is the biggest space I have right now of free space and by free space it's when the cats aren't taking it over uh, so anyways um, Welcome back. If you're coming back to watch another unboxing from me, um, the main goal I am trying to do here, as most of you are, is just to support and inspire others. Uh, we're all doing this for one reason, and one reason only is to spread the love of Jesus to parts of the world that cannot hear about him and send love and hope to these children and that is what matters. Um, so this box, I actually did it a little bit quick the other night and I actually, it, 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 it was actually relatively fast to box up, completed. Um, I did make a washcloth slash little blankie lovey type I, I prefer to look at them as a washcloth but they can use it however way they wish and uh, I did not make a bag I really like to prefer to make the bags to the two to fours but I didn't for this one I had one uh, I picked one out that I found at my Dollarama and I will show you it so this is for a girl two to four it's kind of a mermaid theme. Um, I didn't mainly focus on mermaids. Um, I kind of focused more on just sea life underwater kind of thing. And you'll see kind of why. So take off her cover. I didn't make a, an inside lid cover picture thingy. I might in the end, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this day. This is migraine day number two, so um, 
and I haven't had migraines for eons, so this is, it's kind of like a, a struggling day for me, so I'm just trying to positive, keep moving forward and be positive, do positive things. So, uh, when she uh, unsnaps her lid, her washcloth's on top, so I quickly made this last night, and it's with uh, the flannel material I still had from my other two to four mermaid box, which also has seashells and fish and um, starfish on it and bubbles. And I paired it with some light purple on the back and a purple ribbon so she can um, makes it easier to hold on to, to carry, to hang. So she's got a little washcloth, as I like to call them. And her tote bag's on top here as well, but once I repack it, I'll put it on the bottom. I just didn't want to unpack it all, put the washcloth on the bottom, and then repack it all, and then unbox it, <laughs> and then repack it all. So um, this is the one I found at our Dollarama. It's just one of those canvas um, tote bags that you can actually color. Um, so I thought it was just fitting. It has a mermaid and it has fish on it. And the only thing I did was that I noticed that the handles on these ones, if you ever get them, um, they were only stitched right here. They only had a, like a, a really long stitch right across this. So this wasn't stitched or anything. So I just went back and I actually restitched the entire thing because some of them I find they're not really stitched well so just to help it out and this canvas is kind of thin like it's I don't think it's the best quality but just to to help it last longer I just uh, flipped it inside out and I restitched the sides and then I I boxed stitch and crisscrossed the um, the straps, each of the straps, just to keep them secure better. And then I added a snap in the middle. So she's got her tote bag. And then once she folds over her bandana, this is what she will see. And her wow item's pretty big, so I didn't really I couldn't really fit a lot in this box, but I tried my best. Um, <laughs> I think her her doll is pretty significant. Um, so I wrapped this doll in one of those really soft microfiber cloths she can use as a blanket for her. So I found this doll at Walmart. I had seen it there for quite a while actually, and it went on clearance for $7. It wasn't something that I really, really wanted. Just, in my personal opinion, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know, it just, some dolls are, are scary to me. Um, but I mean, it is cute in a way. <laughs> um, maybe it's her plushy arms that just kind of, I, mean, I think it's the face, really. So anyways, um, when I, I went back to Walmart, I don't know when it was, a couple of weeks ago, I think, at least. Um, I always go, they have one little clearance aisle that they kind of put stuff that just doesn't sell and they want to get rid of it. And I've, I've found quite a few items there that are really, that are pretty good, like some nice surprises and stuff. But lately it's kind of been like, well, that's not really clearance. You know, it's still like $9. But... She was marked down, again, to $3, and there's only one left, so I thought, well, I'll just, I'll take her, because I know, I know a little girl will love her, even though I think she's scary. <laughs> so, she's kind of like a mermaid, but she's not, um, in my opinion, anyway. It looks like she's kind of like, has a mermaid fin. But this thing can be pulled up, and she does have legs. So, to me, she's just a doll that has, like, sort of like a mermaid outfit on. 
and this is like her little dress type skirt thing. It will go totally over her feet, but she still doesn't really look like a mermaid to me. But she's just kind of in costume, I guess. So her skirt can be pulled up to reveal her legs. So I think it's pretty cute. She has a soft body. The only thing that's hard is her head. Um, Three dollars, I couldn't really pass it up. Um, I think it's pretty significant wow item for a little girl. So she's gonna get that doll. And this is her little blankie she can wrap her in. So I thought that was pretty, I thought that's pretty good. So um, I did want to include a plush. I mean, she is kind of plushy, but I kind of wanted to include something softer and everything. So I thought I would pair her with this really cute plush starfish that I found recently at our Dollarama. Uh, they brought out a bunch of them. I have, I have, uh, I do have more of them. I, I only got one starfish, but they did have more animals. They have a crab, they had like a parrot. Uh, my mom got an octopus, which was really, really cute. Um, I didn't see that one, of course, so I couldn't get that one, but I thought this was really cute and worked well to pair with a underwater theme. She's got, it's got sparkly purple eyes and then the back is like a slippery, slippery little fabric. I thought it was really cute. So she's got a little starfish. Pixie, you need to get off these items. Thank you. I have to take off enough fur. Just stay there. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, moving forward, she's got some sunglasses, pretty blue sunglasses. She's got a little xylophone. I'm really running low on those. I only have a few left, and last time I went for some, they didn't have any. And that's the only place I've found them, actually. It's called the Canadian Dollar Store, and I kind of hope they get them back, because they're really, really cute. Um... She also has these little t rubber, kind of like bath toys, I wanted to add. Um, they do, they're like the off brand of Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Um, so this looks like Nemo. They did a pretty good job actually. Meaning that since they're not authentic, but. So she's got a whale. I forget the whale's name, but in little Nemo with those cute big eyes. So she's got those cute little toys. And then, and then she's got a ball, just a smiley face ball. Uh, she's got a 24 pack of crayons. I'm gonna move that over here. She's got a purple cup and in her purple cup, She's got a little face mask that is underwater creatures on it. And she's got a pair of 4T underwear. She's got a little organza bag that has two hair bows. One is purple with sparkles. And the other one is blue, and she has, I've attached this one to a headband. As I've started to do with practically all the girl boxes. Just in case they don't have hair, it's a pretty good point to bring up. Because a, a lot of videos I see, they don't. Um, they don't have hair. They cut it off pretty short, so. I mean, even if, if you don't include a headband, they can always clip it to their clothing, their book bag. Um you know, anything else they have, they can clip it to, but. And she's got um, some nail files and nail clippers in a bag with instructions. Uh, she's got a purple comb. She has a so uh, soap and soap dish. Well, in a, it's like a little container. I'm using these as soap dishes because they fit pretty good.
She's got a purple fold frisbee. So we've got a lot of purple and blues going on here, but I didn't, I wasn't strict on keeping that color coordination going on. Um, uh, she's got her pencil pouch. She's got um, a dual pencil sharpener, normal eraser, uh, scissors, Pixie is hearing a fly, so she might just flee really fast. And if she, if she does, that's why. She's going to catch it. She's got a purple and blue marker. She's got uh, two click pens, a black and a blue. And then she's got her pencils, which are yellow, the normal ones. One has her little teddy bear gripper and some um, holographic purple, it's like a dark pink purple, and then two um, mermaidy ones. She's got this little puzzle I thought was cute. Uh, it's a little turtle. It's only a four piece, but it's one you can color. I thought it was cute. stuck it in that bag so she can um, have a little spot to keep it in. Uh, she's got two toothbrushes. One has a cover and then a fork and a spoon. I really like to include an extra toothbrush. Um, they can save it for when their other one wears out or share it with a family member. I hear a lot of, I see a lot of stories that um, well, and really not really a lot, but I've, I've listened to a lot of stories that, you know, the, the, uh, one of them was, um, uh, they were, uh, I think they lived in an orphanage maybe, and out of all of them, they had to share a toothbrush. Uh, there was another one that they all had to share same bar soap. So the little boy, that was the most special thing in this box was the bar soap. Um, things that we normally wouldn't, you know, that we take for granted that we have that are so special to these children because they don't have them. Um, I think they're really important. Um, essentials to us that rarely are taken for granted are really, really uh, important to them. And so anyways... Moving on, uh, I did put in this little shirt, just a blank, a plain purple shirt. It's got really cute little sleeves and a little pocket, it's size four. Actually, um, that is one of these puzzles. I find them at Walmart. They're relatively cheap. They're, I think they're like a dollar something. They're under $2. Um, and they come in this, I think it's a uh, really tough cardboard, like a cardboard tube. And then they have what the puzzle looks like on the bottom. So this one is um, Ariel, Little Mermaid. Um, so it has her, it also has some starfish on it, I think. Um, and it says, Adventure Awaits. It's a really small puzzle or picture. Um, so this is a 48 piece and it's got, I keep them in this little container just so, so they have, um, something to hold it in. So these ones are relatively small since it's a 48 piece and they have a little plastic lid. So you could actually fit some things in with it, which I actually just did with another box. Thought of doing a little surprise in with a puzzle. Um, so besides that, this is the only little picture they have. And I don't really know if I could scan that uh, to make it bigger and then just print it off and keep it in a plastic bag. So I just, I keep it in that those containers 
So she's got a bigger puzzle. And with that bigger puzzle, I made her a little play mat um, for that purpose. Um, I actually just quick made this up because I forgot I didn't have one in here. Um, so, and I made it up relatively quick. Um, I just included a little note here on easily removable tape um, that it can be used for a variety of things, including making crafts on, putting puzzles together on, playing on, eating on. Um, I'm going to have to cut that one off because I'm not including markers with dry erase markers with I don't really I don't I don't have a good sense to include dry erase for two to fours just they're not really washable and I know that you can get washable ones but they don't really work very well so I'm gonna snip that off so she knows it can be used as a flat surface for many things and she can also use it to kind of to bear on to uh, write and draw in her notebooks as well so um i found it i didn't really want to look through google to find clip art so i just went on etsy and i bought some little three three dollars and something packs of clip art and i found these really cute ones so that's her little play mat that can fold up so it fits really nice in the box. Uh, she's got a letter from us. Uh, just needs our picture. She's got two notebooks. Um, handmade notebooks. Uh, this one has... One is lined and one is plain. So she's got a purple one and a blue one. And in one of them, she's got lots of stickers. She's got these stickers, which I know some of you have put in your boxes. Uh, she got these cute bubble stickers that are of undersea life. I don't have the greatest um, lighting right now, because, of course, it's cloudy and not sunny. We're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow. Maybe that's why I have a headache, but... And then she's got these ones, Undersea and Mermaids, and then I stuck these ones in. I did take off the sticker in here, this sticker was an ice cream cone, even though I'm sure they won't really know what it is, but, you know. And then I just stuck in a couple of big uh, coloring pages. This one's a fish and a clam, and then this one a fish, seahorse, and a crab. So she's got something to color. And then that's her bandana. That's the ombre of blue and purplish pink. So that is another mermaid slash underwater box uh, for two to four. I think it comes together quite well. I um, hope you enjoyed it and wish me luck in packing because I am I am still packing. Um, <laughs> I'll probably be packing right up to when we take them on collection week. Uh, so wish me luck and I wish all of you the best and take care and God bless.